People who don't know as much about the O-line, is it as simple as the speed of edge guys and more space to cover compared to guard where it's much bigger guys? And uh, guys? Yeah, everything at guard happens quite a bit faster. So uh, you have more space out there. You have to be more patient with your set. Basically, that's, that's a big thing. It's just, I was going to ask you why more head I say you're the it's a correct tackle. Why, why would you say that's a good fit for you? I have no idea. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> I'm just doing my job, you know. Whatever they ask me to do, I'll do it. So. You've gotten out in space, too. A little bit. Was, they, they did that even when you were pulling mm -hmm. the guard. But yep. what is that like for you when, you're, when you get a full head of steam? Uh, uh, yeah, it's fun. It's a fun time, obviously. Um, it's obviously nice to get out there in space as well, mix it up a bit, um, get get the D lineman on their, on their toes. So. It's always nice. How different is it from guard I mean, tech, from a technique perspective? I mean, is it significant enough that it took you a moment or two to figure it out? Or kind of, how has um, that process been for you? Know, you know, back out? So, uh, it wasn't too, it wasn't too uh, extreme, uh, especially because throughout fall camp and, and whatnot, in like a couple of weeks, you know, we rotate a lot. So I'd get thrown out there every once in a while. Not Nothing crazy, you know, just for a rack or two. But, um, you know, you just have more space, you have to be more patient, uh, things don't happen as quickly out there to tackle, um, but then you're more on the island, obviously. So. Because you guys had lined up with you and George next to each other before, mm -hmm. just, did that make flipping the two of you that much easier? Just yeah, we just, you know, we have that chemistry together, so it's, uh, and we, obviously we both know what each other has, so it really, you know, assignment-wise, it, it's just swapping. Crazy. You said you played left tackle uh, in Juco, yeah. and we, we know all about the versatility of pressure with near ball and push the ball. Is that still kind of what you got at the Juco level, or was it just amplified that much more once you got here? No, I was primarily at left tackle when, when I was at Juco, but you don't, at, at Juco you don't get the guys that you, know, you get at university, so just kind of work with what you got. And, and, and basically that's it. But this week in particular, obviously you'll draw the ball. One way or another, you're drawing the edge, guys. Yeah. Um, what do you see from ZTF 58? I know he hasn't played a lot in the season. Shot. He's played this last month. First, First of all, uh, it's pretty crazy that he came back from the Achilles so quickly. I will say that. That's pretty crazy. Um, but he has a lot of speed to power. Um, he has uh, a lot of a lot of speed to power, mostly. But he has some finesse moves. Um, couple club, double clubs. Um, edge. And swipes. Um, really good player, though. This should be a fun matchup. I'm curious if you saw the comments from Jimmy Lake, Washington's coach, um, about you guys essentially not being their recruiting rival in an, in an academic sense. Does that mean much to you guys? No, I, you, don't, you don't think about that. I saw it, but I, I didn't think anything about it, you know. Um, you don't really pay attention to that stuff, and it is what it is. They can think what they want. Talking with KT yesterday, he, he said he's a guy who doesn't try to play overly emotional or try to get too fired up. He wants to play within himself. Do, mm -hmm. do you feel like that's sort of the case with a lot of guys on this team? I mean, I know everybody's yeah. sort of different from a personality standpoint, but it, it seems like that's sort of the um, rule and not the exception. With you guys. Yeah, I mean, some people have, you know, they have more outgoing personalities. I'd say I'm someone that's probably a little bit more on the quiet side. Um, but, I, you know, I'll, obviously I get pumped up as well, just in my own way. Um, but obviously, you don't want to get too high. You don't want to get too low. You want to be even keeled. So that's that, I think that's that's a big thing for me. Is I like I need to make make sure I'm even keeled um, through it all. Is there anything in particular that gets you really fired up for a game or during a game? Like it, touchdowns. It, touchdowns. <laughs> touchdowns. Those get me fired up. What's your favorite kind of touchdown? Like close to the goal line, or you know, like a big run? I just like scoring points. What's been what's um, made you guys so successful in the red zone this year? Uh, just. Knowing we have to finish drives, uh, we struggled with that last year, kind of. So we knew we had to step up in that big time this year. So that was a big focus for us in the off season, going through camp and all through the season so far. And we just have to keep going. I'm curious, going back to the offensive line stuff. Um, Alex and Dawson and a few other guys have talked about just mm -hmm. the cross training and how helpful that is. Like, yeah. do, do you feel like you can jump over to the right side right now and be just as effective? In that I'd sense? like to think so, but I've, I've, I don't know. I can say. I, I can say I wouldn't probably be as comfortable as Doss is going back and forth because he's done a lot of that. But I think I could 
because we are we did do so much of it in the off season. Uh, you give me, you know, a little bit, and I think I'd be fine. With Dawson, is, it, is there anything that like makes him particularly well suited to like hop back and forth from left to right so seamlessly? He's just prepared for anything. He's just one. He's just so prepared, and it's it's crazy. Um, and I don't know. He's just very versatile. I, I don't know what makes him so versatile, but it's just he's just been doing it since he got here. He's played them all, all the positions. So I mean, I, don't, <laughs> I couldn't tell you, but yeah, I appreciate it. Yep, thanks, man. Thank, Thank you. you.